Hi, Adrian. It's Miss Christy again. Today, I had a great day outside in the sun. And when I was thinking of a book to share with you, I found one that looked like a bright, sunny day. Looks like they're by a really pretty water. And the story that I was going to share with you is called Jasmine Catches a Fish. And it's written by Anne Hearth. You're too little to catch a fish, Anna said. Next time, Jasmine, Dad said, the boat raced away. Jasmine and Mom sat beside a rock pool. I wish I could catch a fish, Jasmine said. Look, Mom pointed at the pool. A big fish swam in circles. He has to get back to the ocean said Jasmine. Jasmine put her hands into the water. She was very still. The fish swam closer. It swam between Jasmine's hands. She slowly closed her fingers. She lifted the fish from the water. Wow, Jasmine is brave. I don't know if I would want to catch a fish in my hands, would you? You did it, Mom said. Jasmine tossed the fish into the ocean. It swam away. Dad pulled his boat onto the sand. Did you catch any fish? Jasmine asked. No, said Anna. Jasmine laughed. Ah, I did. Oh, so we're already at the questions. Who caught a fish? Well, we just heard that, right? We know that Jasmine did. She caught one with her hands and then she threw it from this pond back into the ocean. The next question is, who is Anna? And that one we have to guess, but I would guess that this person is Anna, right? And who do you think Anna is? I think Anna might be Jasmine's big sister because she looks a little bit older and she got to go fishing with her dad. Who rides on the boat? Well, we know Jasmine wanted to go on the boat, but who got to go on the boat? If you think it was the dad and the sister Anna, you're correct. And last but not least, where does this story take place? This one's a little like our last story, and we have to just kind of look at the picture or the setting in the background. And the story takes place outside by an ocean and um, a little pool of water. So that's the setting or where the story takes place. Well, I hope that you are getting to enjoy some of this outdoor weather um, in addition to listening to these stories and doing your schoolwork, but it's a really good time to get outside and get some fresh air. Have a good day.